हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द पी डब्ल्यू एम सिग्नल हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट ए पी डब्ल्यू एम सिग्नल विद आडिनो जुनो हाउ कैन वी यूज एनालॉग राइट फंक्शन कैन वी यूज एनालॉग राइट फंक्शन ऑन ईच ऑफ द आडिनो पिन और नोट आई विल एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी थिंग अबाउट द पी डब्ल्यू एम सिग्नल विद आडिनो जुनो in brief in this video and we'll show you practical wave forms which we can create by arduino you know so friends watch this video till end i hope you will definitely learn something new so let's start this video as you can see on your screen there i show different types of pwm signal like in first signal there is duty cycle is 50% what is the mean of the duty cycle and what is the mean of the 50% duty cycle means for how much time the signal remains high and for how much time it remains low like here i show 50% duty cycle you can see the duration of on and the duration of off of the signal is same the on and the off time is called a period for this period half time the signal is high and for half time the signal is low so this is called 50% duty cycle then next signal you can see this remains on for some time and off for maximum time if you assume the period of this signal is 100 millisecond then this signal is on for 10 millisecond and off for 90 millisecond and in the next waveform where the duty cycle is 30% here this is on for the 30 millisecond and off for the 70 millisecond in next signal where the duty cycle is 70% then there it is on for the 70 millisecond and of for the 30 millisecond i hope you now know what is the meaning of the duty cycle how we calculate this first we will learn how can we create a duty cycle on each and every pin of arduino so now we go to arduino id and make a code for arduino you know this is arduino id in setup we define any pin as an output pin with the function pin mode I want to make pin number zero as an output pin, and in loop we do on and off this pin. Write function register write here pin number zero i. then create some delay of 10 millisecond then copy this function again and here make this pin low now check the arduino is connected or not go here and arduino is connected on com3 now upload this code to arduino you know as you guys see the code is uploaded now we see the waveform on the dso here i set the time 20 millisecond as you guys see this waveform the on and off time is same this means the duty cycle is 50% here we select the frequency and duty cycle plus duty cycle minus 
here you can see the frequency is 49.95 approximately 50 hertz and duty cycle is 50 percent for plus and duty cycle is 50 percent for minus now for the 50 percent duty cycle it is easy to create but if we want to increase or decrease the duty cycle then how can we do this for this you need to understand one thing that the period of this frequency is 20 milliseconds like here 10 millisecond delay is here and 10 millisecond delay is here so we need to maintain a period with 20 millisecond here first we create 70 percent duty cycle as the total time is 20 millisecond so the 70 percent of 20 millisecond is 14 here we make this pin 14 and 20 minus 14 is 6 so this wave we create 70 percent duty cycle means this wave remains high for 40 millisecond and 046 millisecond now execute this code Now you can see here duty cycle for plus is 70% and duty cycle for minus is 30%. I hope with this experiment you can understand how can we increase or decrease the duty cycle. Here we need to make that period of the wave constant and we need to change the on and off time to increase or decrease our duty cycle. To calculate the duty cycle, I use this formula like here 20 is the total period, it is 20 millisecond. This is our duty cycle, which is 70% divided by 100 into total period of the wave, and here we get the result of 14. For 40 millisecond, it remains on and for 6 millisecond it remains off we take an another example here the duty cycle is 40 percent and here is over time which is 20 millisecond 40 percent over 100 into 20 millisecond is equal to 8 so we put 8 millisecond value for high time and 12 millisecond value for low time here i put 8 and here I put 12 now upload this code to Arduino you know the code is uploaded now we see the waveform here you can see the frequency is same duty cycle for plus is 40% and duty cycle for minus is 60 percent i hope you now understand how can we create a pwm signal with arduino uno we can use any pin of arduino uno with this code to make pwm signal like you can use any type of pin 0 to 14 and you can also use analog pin to make the PWM with this type of code. Now we further study about another function of Arduino Uno that is called analog write. The difference between this code and the analog write function is that we can generate PWM signal with the with the function analog write on the particular spin on Arduino Uno. Like as you can see different types of pin of Arduino you know on your screen here with the help of the highlighter I show you some pins like here D3 before the pin you can see a wave symbol is shown there this means this pin will work with the analog write function here D5 pin D6 D9, D10, 
D11. As I mark these pins, with the analog write function, you can generate PWM signal on only these pins. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can only generate PWM signal with the analog write function to the 6 pins of Arduino you know that are D3, D5, D6, D9, D10, D11. Now we make the code of Arduino you know. First delete this code or you can also make comments before this code. Then here we make D3 pin and here we write the analog write function as this function is no need to repeat again and again that's why we write this in void setup this will only execute once and work till the Arduino is on here we define the pin number and here is the difference here you need to give the values between 0 to 255 255 is the maximum value here to make 50% duty cycle i divide 255 by 2 so here the values we write is 127 now we execute this And we connect over pin of DSO to D0 to D3. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. Now we open DSO. Yes, here is the DSO. Here you can see the frequency is half kilohertz means means approximately 500 hertz here you can see the width of this wave here we can increase the width of this wave by reducing over time per division here I here I choose 2 milliseconds yes this is perfect and here you can see the frequency is 490 hertz and the plus duty cycle is 49.8 and minus duty cycle is 50.02 this is approximately 50 percent now we learn how can we calculate duty cycle for this function as you see the formula to calculate duty cycle is same here the duty cycle is 40 percent and here we write the maximum value which we need to give to this function 40 percent by 100 into 255 here the values come is 102 which we put in the function now let's put the value in the function and see can it generate 40% duty cycle here I put the value 102 now upload this code code is uploaded now you can see here the frequency is same 490 hertz plus duty cycle is 40 percent and minus duty cycle is 60 percent so friends this way you can use both type to create 
PWM signal with Arduino you know which code we made first we can also make this code on the same number pin like I do here you can also reduce the value of the time like I do the value half this code and this go to 6 now upload this code code is uploaded here you can see the frequency is increased in previous our frequency is 50 Hz now our frequency is doubled it is approximately 100 Hz and the duty cycle is 40% for plus and duty cycle is 60% for minus Now again we have this time and see what happened 4, 4 by 2 is 2, 6 by 2 is 3 Upload this code Code is uploaded now you can see here the frequency is doubled what this mean this means if you reduce the time then the frequency will increase if you increase the time then the frequency will reduce and here you can see the duty cycle is same 4 plus it is 40 percent and 4 minus it is 60 percent why the frequency is increased when we decrease the time as you guys can see on your screen this is the formula of the frequency here time is equal to 1 pound frequency and frequency is equal to 1 pound time this means frequency and time are inversely proportional to each other means if the time is increased then the frequency is decreased if the frequency is increased then the time is decreased as you see we decrease the delay time then our frequency is increased as I make the time 4 to 2 and 6 to 3 means here we half the time and our frequency goes from 100 hertz to 200 hertz so friend this is the relation between the time and the frequency if you reduce the time then the frequency will increase if you increase the frequency then the time will reduce so friend this is all for now i hope you understand about the pwm signals how can we create this signal how can we maintain the frequency of the signal? How can we increase or decrease the duty cycle of the signal? I hope you learned these different prospects of the PWM signals with Arduino. And you also learn the functions of Arduino through which you can generate a PWM signal. If you learn something from this video, please like this video and share this if you are new here please subscribe my channel you can also follow us on instagram facebook and telegram the links are below in description we'll meet you in next video till stay happy stay healthy make learning part of your life thank you friend